What's up everybody, G here, fitnessinformant.com, VP of content, here today to bring you a 100% honest, no bullshit supplement review. And today we are looking at Myoblox Skywalk. This is a powder nootropic formula from Myoblox. They're known for their limited editions. However, they do have a line that is, a, that is year round and this Skywalk is one of them. So let's not waste your time. Let's get into the ingredient profile, see what's in here, break it down and see if we liked it or not. Let's go. All right. Let's take a look at the first two ingredients because these are the only two that are, or one of the three ingredients in here that is actually disclosed. Uh, we're going to start off with tyrosine. One scoop gives you 1.5 grams, two scoops give you, gives you three grams. Uh, tyrosine is a precursor to dopamine. It's actually very good for focus. It's, my, it's actually my favorite ingredient for focus along with caffeine. Uh, this is actually a monster dose at two scoops. Usually you only need 750 milligrams to 1.5 grams for it to be noticeably effective, at least in my experience. However, you, if you use one scoop, you're good. If you use two scoops, you're probably gonna be feeling really good and you're probably gonna be very productive. So good job there. One or two scoops is gonna do good. So following this, you get 400 milligrams of alpha GPC or 800 milligrams at the two scoops. Uh, alpha GPC is a very good source of choline. Choline, of course, converts to acetylcholine in the brain. This is basically a neurotransmitter. It's one of the most proven ingredients for focus. It's very popular. Both doses are pretty good. Uh, usually we like to see it at 600, so you either get slightly below that or above that, um, depending on how strong you want to go with it. Uh, either way, it's good. One and a half scoops would be the perfect dose. However, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna get an effect along with the tyrosine. So good job there, no real complaints. At least they use they did use choline by tartrate. Um, now we come to the proprietary blend of this formula. Uh, this is about 525 milligrams of one scoop, one about around one gram of ingredients at two scoops. The first ingredient is real calf. This is a naturally derived caffeine. They tout it as a caffeine that uh, doesn't hit you really fast and really hard. Instead, it's kind of more of a natural uplift. Uh, this is debatable. Um, so either way. You get 200 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. That's a solid dose. Uh, it's not gonna, cr I mean, depending on how sensitive you are, it's not gonna crack you out. Two scoops at 400 milligrams, that's kind of a bit for some, especially for a nootropic. However, that makes this, usually the two scoop dose in here is more so for people who really wanna get something done. You know, like if I have a very big project, 400 milligrams of caffeine is gonna help me with that. All right, let's move on. Next we have velvet bean. Uh, from the Kuna Priorines. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, this is a natural source of L-Dopa. You know we're not the biggest fans of proprietary blends here. However, the Kuna is 98% L-Dopa. You could be getting a good dose in here if you do the math out. Uh, check out our written review on that. You'll get more on it. Either way, we can't say it's dosed well or not because of the blend still. Um, move on, it's a good ingredient, however. Next up comes L-theanine. Now, L-theanine is basically a, an amino acid that is used to, for calming. You know, you see it in a lot of pre-workouts these days. It's supposed to take the edge off, uh, supposed to prevent the jitters. Uh, for some people, some people don't like it because they want that, you know, that big rush of energy. In here though, if you want to like sit down and get something done, theanine makes sense because you don't want to be sitting at a desk like, you know, freaking out, having the jitters. So, I like it in here. Of course, again, we don't know the dosage, prop blend. Still, I don't mind seeing it in here. All right, so the next two ingredients on here are hortonine and N-methyltyramine. Hortonine is a, it's a pretty common ingredient how you're starting to see it go away due to the FDA advisory list, uh, putting it, like being on there. Um, it's essentially, it's, it's a noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. Prevents adrenaline from being broken down is the easiest way to put it. Um, it's pretty popular. We don't know how much is in here. You don't need a huge dose, so it could very well be well dosed in here. All right, so now we come to tyramine. Uh, tyramine is actually known to uh, regulate blood pressure. Um, there's not too much science behind it, at least in my opinion. Uh, you do see it in a lot of nootropics. Um, it is a metabolite of tyrosine. Uh, we have no idea how much is in here, so that's the only complaint there. It's, it's not dangerous, at least in our opinion. So let's just move on. Not much, not too much to say on that one, at least in my experience. I've never tried it on its own either, so. Uh, the final two ingredients are bioprin and Hooperzine. 
Bioprint's black pepper extract may in enhance the absorption of some ingredients. Uh, I don't know about, there's any studies on the ones in here. However, I wouldn't say it's a bad ingredient to throw in here. Finally, we come to Hooperzine. Hooperzine is, it prevents choline from being broken down in the brain is the easiest way to put it. So it may it, like prolong your, you know, your, your focus session, so to speak. Overall, the ingredient profile is solid. Great amount of tyrosine, great amount of alpha GPC. One or two scoops is gonna be effective. Actually at two scoops, it's almost a monster dose and I don't think too many people need three grams of tyrosine. I personally enjoy it because I love tyrosine. Um, as the only complaint we have, of course, is the prop blend. We do like how they disclose the caffeine. Um, we'd like to know how much of everything else in there, especially the hornine and tyramine to see where they're at. Um, but other than that, solid profile, not too much to complain about. Uh, let's get into the effectiveness of it, effectiveness of this, excuse me, and see how, how we liked it. So the effectiveness on Skywalk, needless to say, is really good. Anywhere from one, one and a half to two scoops has, was always hit the spot, depending on what you were aiming for. Um, if I just wanted to start my day, get a, you know, start my day off, be somewhat productive or be productive in general, um, not have to like slowly wake up. This is what I went with. Caffeine wakes you up, tyrosine hits in, you start to be more alert throughout the day. That's kind of what I noticed out of this. Um, if you take two scoops, it should be for something that you really want to be productive on. For instance, I took two scoops one day and I just want to play video games. Ryan texted me and said, hey, can you get this done by the end of the day? And usually I'd be like, okay, let me just wait an hour. You know, it's my lunchtime. For some reason, I had to get that thing done after five minutes of thinking about it. Yeah, you just feel an urge to be productive when you're on this. So, especially at two scoops. One scoop, it's good. Two scoops is you're kind of flying off the walls. Might be too strong for some, but for me, I loved it. Overall, powerful. Um, not much to complain about here. Uh, love it. All right, this is something that's more popular today than ever. Uh, how did it taste? Uh, we had the smart as FK, smart as fuck flavor. You can assume that means it's the smartest flavor. It's kind of similar to that, that candy flavor, that light candy flavor. Um, it's very enjoyable. I loved it. Uh, two thumbs up for me. Um, I typically like to water it down just to make it more refreshing, get more fluids in. However, it's even enjoyable with five ounces of water. So overall, they got pretty close to candy flavor. If I had one to recommend, I think I've tried a couple of their flavors, this one would be the one I'd recommend. So good job, Myoblox, on the flavor. All right, now we come to the mixability. Did it mix well? As you're seeing on the video right now that we have, we're mixing it in the ice shaker cup. It mixes, it's only five grams, so it's not gonna leave too much residue as it is. It's not a monster pre-workout. It mixes great. There's not much to complain about. Some residue, um, still nothing that's gonna ruin your day. Um, if you, there's residue at the bottom, swish your shaker cup around, you should be fine. Uh, overall mixability is legit. Now we come to the value. So you can get Skywalk for about $45, um, depending on where you go. $45 for 36 servings. That's $1.25 per serving, somewhere around there. Um, I personally think it's a really good, you know, really good value if you're using one scoop every day or whenever you need it. If that's the case, then this is a great product to go with. If you're using two scoops a day, you want to do 250 a day, then that's up to you if that's worth it. Personally, I wouldn't pay that much every day for a two scooper. However, it is worth the 250 if you really need to like be productive for a certain amount of time. Like if you have, if you're a gamer and you have a match, go with like this two scoops of this could help. If you are a, if you're just like me, trying to be, have a big project coming up, your boss is really on you, um, this might be a good thing to have around if you really want to be productive for a short amount of time. So overall, dollar twenty-five per 36 servings. It's gonna last you a month if you use it like that. $45 is worth extra focus, at least for part of your day, then it's well worth the money in our opinion. Overall guys, Skywalk is a solid product. Uh, I really enjoyed my tub of it. The focus is great. Um, I love the profile despite the prop blend. Um, we're just good at one scoop. Two scoops is certainly gonna be pretty powerful for, for some. Um, it's really good for times where you really need to get something done. I would not do it every day because then you rely on it and that's not what you want. It should enhance your life, not make you become addicted. Either way, I love it. Taste is great, mixability is great. The value is 
pretty solid in my opinion. Um, there's definitely more expensive nootropics out there that don't give you the same ingredients in here or the same dose of tyrosine and LMG. So that's it guys. Check us out on Facebook. Follow us on IG. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our website. Thank you for watching.